Emma Watson's new Instagram is dedicated to her new sustainable wardrobe. I love this. So she launched this on Monday. I love Emma Watson, but it just gets better. So in preparation for Beauty and the Beast in March, she has this new Instagram account called The Press Tour. You can go to it. Already has a ton of followers. And on that Instagram, what it does is it highlights all her... Not only her clothing choices, but her, her makeup, her hair and makeup, and how it's all vegan and sustainable. So let me give you some examples, because in her post, she documents all of it. Um, hopefully, you can read the post. It's really lengthy. She goes into detail, which I think is awesome. So from her Instagram post, here are some highlights. Quote, a booty, or B-O-O-D-Y, booty, body t-shirt, which is from bamboo and worn with an organic cotton. A Maison Michelle Beret and a coat from Stella McCartney. It goes on to, she describes it as, quote, world's first luxury brand that is committed to producing products that do not use leather, skins, feathers, or fur. And then also she documents her cruelty-free and vegan makeup looks um, as well as the brands. So you can then purchase the brands. And then why it's so important too. Well, first of all, we should backtrack a little bit. Uh, she, according to this article, and I remember when she wore this dress last May, it was made all of recycled plastic, plastic bottles. bottles yeah. That was awesome. That was at the 2016 Met Gala. And then she also started a photo shoot for L UK wearing only <clears throat> sus sustainable made clothing. So this is a big deal for her to like have this Instagram account that's specifically to showcase that her choices are important choices, her choices where she takes out her pocketbook or even, you know, as a star, I'm sure she's maybe given a lot of these products, but she's making sure that these products are ethical, not only for for uh, ethical for animals, but also for the people that are working there, sustainable. Yeah, <clears throat> sorry. Do you Come love on. her? I, I know, it's so, okay, really, I, w I was never a Harry, Harry Potter fan. What? I, I, I know, <laughs> God, just like, you know, I'm losing points all over the world right now, yes. but I think it's great that someone that is as young as, as Emma, Wat as Emma yeah. Watson is, is showcasing this and letting other people know that hey, you can be fashionable, you can you can you can be beautiful, but you can do it and support a good cause and, and have some and have some um, a good nature feeling behind it. And the clothes are great. It's not as if you know people tend to think that if you buy something that's sustainable, mm -hmm. it's not fashionable. It looks weird. It feels weird. That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. But sh she's showing us that you can look amazing while doing something awesome. So good for her, good, good for her. Good for her, and then also I wanna to speak to, you mentioned uh, not only is it important to wear like sustain sustainable clothing, and um, in the Huffington Post, it talks about how the, the, the negative environmental impact that the textile and the clothing industry has. So let me read uh, this quote from the Huffington Post. It says, quote, her choices speak to the negative environmental impact of the apparel industry, one of the world's biggest polluters. The rise of fast fashion, so you think about like Forever 21 and, and H&M, the rise of fast fashion has led to millions of tons of textile <coughs> waste, polluted waterways, unfathomable working conditions, and other serious issues. And I think that's what bothers me too, is because when you look at, um, and this is just generally speaking, but when you look at some of the brands that she had mentioned, um, and this isn't to discredit her efforts at all. I think, believe me, you can go to uh, a number of different stores and Etsy and find some really great sustainable and, and, and uh, also vegan apparel for inexpensive. And it's also ethical, the working conditions and whatnot. But for the most part, let's say, if, you know, like when I was in college and I wanted a faux leather jacket, I would go to Forever 21. Right. Still to this day, I'm conflicted when I go to Zara because there's, you know, Zara's trying to be better, but then they have some criticism too as how they treat their employees and some of their waste and pollution because they're also all about getting the trends out. And even though I may be in my mind, oh, at least I'm buying, you know, something that's faux, uh, you, you try and compare that with like a Stella McCartney, which she mentioned, and she was wearing Stella McCartney, which, uh, you know, they're also vegan, and they're, but they also have really good practices, but they're also thousands of dollars. Right. So that's what frustrates me. What frustrates me as a consumer is I wish that we had more choices uh, where we can, I mean, I know I can go to Payless and get vegan shoes. I, that's where I got all my vegan shoes when I first, you know, was uh, aware of alternative leathers. But again, I don't, what are the ethical practices at, at like a pay less? 
So I just wish there was more options where you don't have to pay an arm and a leg. An arm and a leg. And maybe there are. And if I'm wrong, please correct me in the in the comment section. But, you, you, but Sam, you make a very good point. An arm and a leg. A lot of fashionable things that that these stars are wearing are super expensive. I mean, Stella McCartney is not so. You can't just walk into Charlotte Russe and buy a Stella McCartney jacket. You know. Mm -hmm. So I think it's awesome that these high end fashion designers are willing to go the extra mile to make sure that everything that they're that they're putting out for the public is ethical. But also want to speak to Emma, Emma Watson, the way she's using her social media yes. to push this image forward. Because a lot of, I, I find, I'm, we're on social media all the time. Like, it's it's a job. And I, I, I'm always turned off with stars who don't know how to use it correctly. And I, and, and I shouldn't say correctly, because who am I to judge? But in my eyes, I think the responsibility of, of sending this message is, is great. And, and the way Emma Watson's doing it is very tasteful. And it's positive. There's a buoyancy to it. It's not, it's, it's not like she's saying, you need to, you know, wear... We're ethically sound clothes. She's saying, no, guys, here's a great way to be fashionable, a great way to have awesome makeup, awesome looks, and still do good. Yeah. And that's important. That's, and Emma Watson is a role model for, right. for these millennials. She's amazing. She's amazing. I mean, yeah. She's the one that spear he spearheaded the, the He For She campaign mm -hmm. uh, with the UN Women, and she's just been such a great example, but I think you hit the nail on the head. She's a great example in, this, in the sense that she leads by example. Mm -hmm. It never comes off judgy. Right. It's literally, look at my clothes I'm wearing, this is where I got them. This is why I love them. Right. Never do you feel like that she's being preachy or she's pushing a, a specific agenda. She's just simply leading by example, and it makes you want to be better. Right. And that's amazing. So right. love, 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 love her. I just want there to be more options that are not only inexpensive, but are also really ethical when it comes to like working conditions and things like that, too. And, and again, if there are other options out there that you guys know of, please let me know, because sure. I feel limited in that aspect. Also, final thought, Sam, is that the people who are now following Emma Watson, these were younger, younger kids five, six years ago. Right. Longer, like, 10, yeah, 15 right, years because ago. Because it's been like, she was seven movies of Harry Potter. Right. But now these these young adults are now growing into, they're, they're now becoming men and women who who will usher this new movement for the future, for mm -hmm. the next generation. So it's, it's a win-win all around. It's like yes. this awesome domino effect that I'm excited to see um, grow and just evolve. And how excited are we for Beauty and the Beast? I, okay, so, yes! right. Yes! Wait, you're not a Disney well, you no, are a Disney fan No, I have, guys. Okay. okay, so I'm becoming a Disney fan now. <laughs> Every time, well, I was- We converted uh, him! Total convert. Didn't have to put electroshock therapy or nothing. Disney is great. <laughs> um, I was- we had talked about um, The Lion King in a, in, a, in a previous video, and you had talked about, you know, how emotional you were. The with Broadway the version. Broadway version, Both right? versions, but, both versions Broadway, absolutely. Yeah. But Disney, I think Disney does a fantastic job of just really captivating their audiences and really painting the picture of the magic and the beauty that that, that transcends their pictures. So when I saw the, the promo for Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. The new one. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wow. Are you excited? Life changing. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So, all right. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, if you have any uh, recommendations of certain companies or websites that sell vegan or sustainable, just really great ethical clothing lines that aren't, that don't cost an arm and a leg, please share. And there's a ton when it comes to makeup though, by the way. There's so many makeup brands out there that are vegan. Um, more and more. More and more. Go to uh, leapingbunny.org. There's a, there's a slew of really great companies on there, all different price ranges. So it is affordable. We'll see you next time.